Every time I would tell somebody my dreams, my goals, the things that I wanted to do in my life, things that I wanted to accomplish, it always seemed to never come to fruition. No matter how much I trusted this person, no matter how much I wanted them to believe in what I was doing, it just never came to fruition because it was important for me to learn to move in silence. I be so sick of you niggas, y'all contradicting I be so bold myself, can you come and fuck me? I feel so ordinary, say when you won't round me Treat me like God, why you wear me out? Why you miss me? Tear me out, treat me about you and when I say move in silence, I mean not telling the soul, not telling the person I'm fucking, not telling my sisters, not telling my mom, not telling my best friends, not telling anyone. Because every single time that I recounted in the past when I wanted to accomplish something, it literally, and sometimes they don't realize that they're doing this, but they just don't want to feel left behind. They don't want to feel like they become envious. They become jealous and they don't want to call it that, but that's exactly what it is. So I learned to shut the fuck up. Just be quiet, don't say nothing. Not only did I learn that from my blessings or the things that I wanted to accomplish not coming into fruition, but I also started paying attention to the individuals. I was telling my dreams and my goals and my accomplishments, but they would not tell me theirs. They would keep it to themselves. They would take notes from what I was doing and go behind the scenes to do their own thing. Now, I know that people say this sound crazy and you always see me by myself. That's for a particular reason. All of my old friends, the reason why we're not friends anymore because I don't feel like they had my best interest at heart. I honestly don't feel like they ever had my best interest at heart. The more I reflect on our relationship, the relationship that I had with them, it seems as if at the beginning of the relationship when they didn't feel threatened because I didn't have a career, I didn't have money or I didn't have my own place or I didn't, I didn't have stability. It seems as if when I was down bad, they were happy. It seems as if during those times that when I needed their help, when I needed their, just not even help with anything tangible, but help with support, just believing in me, understanding what I wanted to achieve and understand that here I am going after it. I inspired so many of my friends to accomplish things in their lives. A lot, it seems as if I attract people who are, they have no identity of their own and then they come around me to figure out who they want to become. And I have no issue with this, but the thing about it is I have a problem when I'm not giving credit. Like you learned that from me. You learned those words from me. It got down to the point where I wasn't able to identify if it's, am I being myself or am I being like them? They're being like me, I'm being myself. Like what the fuck is this? They're not being themselves. I'm trying to be myself and here they are looking at me as if I'm an alien when they have taken all of my words, my swag, my aura, like trying to take everything I fucking possess. The only thing that they cannot grasp is the energy that I have. I have old friends watching my YouTube videos. I have old friends looking at my Instagram. I have old friends looking at me on all different, all my platforms because I blocked them out of my life. But the reason I blocked you all out of my life is because y'all don't mean me well. Y'all didn't wish me well. Y'all didn't see my, y'all didn't have my best interest at heart for me to be able to thrive and, and do what I'm doing today. It took for me to cut all of you all off. I guarantee you, had I cut you off sooner, I would be further in life. But because I was so invested in building friendships, like friendships, to me, it's a lie. That's false. And I'm not saying that people can't make friends, but you have three types of people that you're gonna meet in this world. I don't give a fuck what you see. You got three types of people that you're gonna meet in this world. You're gonna come across a whole lot of comrades who are usually your enemies. You're gonna come ac across constituents who's usually coming into your circle for a common out from a for a common goal for you all to achieve, but they're still not your friends. And you're going to come across confidants, which are fit which is far rare and few in between and because i have the understanding like that's my perception in regard when it comes to people it's either we can help each other grow or you're taken away from what i desire to have in my life 
and I have not been wanting to even upload YouTube videos because I could feel people sucking my energy like a fucking leech. I pull back from uploading on Instagram because as soon as I upload on Instagram, I mean, I get like the same individuals who don't like a post, don't comment on a post, don't like shit, but y'all be the first ones to watch my Instagram story. I used to have friends who will watch me make my Instagram story and they will watch it sitting right in front of me and be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm still gonna look at your story. But you don't like it. You don't share it. You don't comment. You don't engage. So I block you. Then you make a fake profile and you act like I still can't feel your energy. You're still in my sphere. You're still in my energy, energetic field. I feel you. I have dreams about you all. I have dreams about you all telling me y'all miss me. I have dreams about y'all wanting to come back into my life. But you weren't real. And you second guessed me because I was being real with you. You second guessed my realness because you were fake. So you question, am I being real? Is this really her? Is she really like that? Does she really move like that? Does she really talk like that? Does she really walk like that? And you see, that's really her. She really move like that. She really talk like that. She really is that girl. She really putting the work on herself and it shows. But to some people, my life might not look as glamorous as others because I don't have all of the designer. Baby, I don't care to have all that designer. The desi what designer don't, the, the designer doesn't make me or break me or shake me or bend me or mold me or validate me in any way, shape or form. You'd be like, okay, well, you ain't worry about that. Well, you ain't got no friends. I don't see nobody around you. Bitch, because I don't fuck with the fake. I do not fuck with the fake. If you ever see me around anybody in the past, best believe I kept it 1,000 with them motherfuckers and they showed me their true face. I've had people, friends, be right in my face and see me having a confrontation with someone, leave by my side, join the confrontational side, just so they could observe me from that side and didn't think I noticed. I've had friends sit in my face, love on me, love on me, support me in my face, but as soon as they behind my back, they talking so cruel about me and don't think I'll find out. But the people around, the people that you talk about me to, the thing about it is you gotta be careful who you talk to. to. Talk to, talk about, talk about somebody too, because you don't know how they are ranked in the spiritual realm. You don't know their ranking. And you also don't know the person's heart that you're speaking to they might not feel the same way you do even though they listening to you i've had people who were my friends talk about me to their other friends and their other friends have come back and told me this is why i don't trust people i've had family members talk so bad about me that their kids these are older family members. Their kids have come tell me, my mama don't like you. My mama be talking about you. My mama don't fuck with you. And I am literally heartbroken and heart shattered. My heart is shattered because I opened up to these people, including my own mother. Me and my mom have a very sometime in relationship. One minute I fuck with her, next minute I be getting I be thinking about the shit she put me through and I be having PTSD where I don't want to, like, she doesn't exist. 
one minute I'm like, man, I love my mom. She taught me how to smile. She taught me how to be more confident in myself. She taught me how to read books. You know, she taught me how to do, like just be a woman from watching her be a woman, from watching her. But then I'd be like, damn, she fuck. She fuck the same niggas I fuck. She go at the dudes that I used to talk to in high school. Damn, and she fucking getting money from niggas that I used to be fucking. Like, why are you asking niggas that I used to fuck for money? I don't even ask them niggas for money, bitch. Why you act like you still 16 years old sometimes and I have to act like the adult and all I want to do is be my fucking self. Be free. Then when it comes to my siblings, they be trying to put the entitlement on me like, oh my God, you're the oldest sister. You're the oldest sister. I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't have been the oldest sister had my mama not had the rest of y'all. I just feel like, you know, I love being in my world, but I want real people in my world, authentic people in my world, transparent people in my world, direct people in my world, people who are confident in themselves in my world, people I don't have to question in my world, people I don't have to second guess in my world. I'm tired of questioning people. I'm tired of the fake shit. I'm tired of fucking with people who don't mean me no well. So that's why I will continue to stick by myself, continue to mind my own motherfucking business and continue to post whenever the fuck I feel like it because of all of these monitoring spirits. The people I cut off in Georgia, I changed my fucking phone number. I moved states. I just was like, I'm done. I'm done with y'all. Y'all are fake, phony, and you have no fucking identity of your own. Find it. Grow, learn, go read a fucking book, take a fucking walk, get out of my energy field. Could have been eating at this table with me, but bitch, you tr you decided to go against me and now you will never have a seat at my fucking table, bitch. I used to be wanting to be at y'all table. I used to be begging to be at people's table. I used to be serving them, give it to 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 them. They looked at me like I was the fucking help. I even had one of my old friends, brother, call me the help because they weren't used to having genuine good people in their fucking life if we all have a party at the house and i'm your friend and i stay back to help you with the house to clean up after all your guests have left you consider me the help now because i'm i'm being a fucking friend to help you out wow the disrespect i had a friend who was making one more money than me at one point in time and i watched her lose it lost her job, lost her home, had to move back to her hometown, got a baby, ended up having a nigga's third baby. I felt like she was fucking fake. Always comparing. I hate a bitch who compares. Oh, I do that. I make $100,000 too. Oh, my brother make $100,000. My sister make $100,000. My mama make $100,000. Like, bitch, when I told you I just got a new job, a new contract that is giving me $120,000, why would you need, why would you feel the need to compare it? That's the energy that I don't want around me. So I'm only focused on high vibrational matches that are compatible with my energy and my essence and who I am, my aura. And I don't give a fuck. I promise you, I don't give a fuck who don't fuck with me. I'm more concerned about not losing myself, being closer to God, and accomplishing my dreams and my fucking goals. Because if you're going to be in my life for any fucking reason, you need to have some value to you. And I'm not talking about physical monetary value. I'm speaking of, can you speak life into me? Like, can you lift me up when I'm down, bitch? Do you just know how to give a hug, bitch? Do you just know how to cry when I'm, bitch? Do you just know how to be happy? Bitch, do you just know how to be happy for others? Do you know how to celebrate life? Are you grateful that you woke up today? Are you excited about where you're going in life? Do you know that you can change it? You know you can create, you can do so many things. You can think of a new idea. You could travel to a new place. You could read a new book. You could learn a new language. You could pick up a new sport, a new hobby. There's so many things that you can do to make your life better. But some people are so wrapped up in the phoniness and the fakeness of social media and what they look like and what they're wearing and who they're around and does everybody around them look like them. And I just cannot. So as beautiful as my face is, bitch, it has substance. And I'm not with that fake and phony shit. Stay your fake, phony ass the fuck away from me, bitch.
And that goes for anybody in the past and anybody in the motherfucking future who want to bring a rinky dinky ass over here and not authentically be themselves. Stay away from me. I address the friends, I address the family, men. There have been men that I have slept with, that I've dated, that I've been with, that have become jealous of me because I was so ambitious and I would refuse to settle. I have left relationships when they are no longer serving me. I do not stay because of the kids. I do not stay because I feel like we've put in so much time in this relationship that it must work. I do not stay for mundane, artificial reasons because I understand that although I'm enjoying my life and I have one life to live, I refuse to allow it to be with a man who is not pouring into me, who's not investing into me, who's not speaking life into me, who's not emotionally available to me, who's not showing up for me, who's not taking care of me. You know what I mean? I'd rather have a man who's supportive in every way of my life than to put up with somebody's bullshit all because I feel like I can't have better. Most of y'all are in relationships because y'all feel like y'all aren't worthy of better. You don't want to start over. You don't want to be by yourself. Sometimes you need to be alone. You need to focus on your own journey and figure out your life according to where you want it to go and stop being so codependent on relationships when it comes to building your life. Even though we need relationships to grow, because there's a quote that says, if you want to go far, go alone. If you want to go fast, go with others and oftentimes y'all cannot it's something that won't wrap around a lot of you all's heads because you're so used to relying on this person relying on that person relying on this person relying on that person have you ever had your back against the fucking wall and just had to figure it out no man no friends no partner no no kids no nothing just you you need to figure it out that's where i am in life and until i have those healthy relationships come into my life and help me grow and prosper and continue to flourish on an even higher level than what i have gotten myself to that i would not be entertaining people i would not be doing these things you know this message is for those who it's for if you've heard this message and a few things resonated with you please feel free to comment down below if you are on a serious journey and you are focused on what you want to accomplish in your life without any distractions, comment down below, no distractions. Literally, no distractions, no distractions, no distractions. That's all for my TED Talk. Have a wonderful day.